Hi, this is Nathya, Department of English, Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Women, subject name Indian Writing in English, Unit 4, the eyes are not here, Ruskin Bond, Ruskin Bond, he was born in the year 1934, still now living writer, he is an Indian author and poet, he received so many prizes, John Levelin Race Prize, Sagatya Academy Award, Padma Sri and Padma Bhushan Awards. So he has authored nearly more than 500 short stories, essays and novels. And also he published nearly 69 children books. And uh, so this title, Eyes Are Not Here, Ruskin Bond uh, uh, essay, it has another subtitle that is Eyes Have It, The Girls on the Train, published in the year 1988. So here we can have two important characters, narrator and the young girl. Both are blind but they didn't confess the, the thing, they are blind while they are traveling in the train. And both they maintained uh, so they can have the eyesight. And uh, after uh, the young girl left out from the train, the third person who confesses that the girl was blind. So this is half the story we can have in the uh, prose, the eyes are not here. And uh, in between the narrator and in, a young girl, they persuade themselves they are not blind. And for that uh, falsely, uh, they described the beauty of the landscape, Missouri, there on that. Like that the story has to be ended. The next prose, The Sparrow by K.A. Appas. He was born in the year 1914 and died 1987. He is an Indian film director, screenwriter, novelist, journalist in Urdu, Hindi and English literatures. He won four national film awards in India and also he won the uh, film award for the film the Palge G.O. Golden Palm Grand Prize Award he got that. And in this story, uh, Sparrow, uh, very limited characters we can have. Rahim Khan, he is a cruel man in the story. Radha, his wife, and uh, his sons, Bandu and Nuru. So, in the beginning, Rahim Khan, he is a very kind-hearted man itself. After some time, because of his uh, parent behavior, he became as a cruel man. Even the village people, they cursed him because of his violent nature. And finally, uh, the small birds, the sparrow, it revealed the, uh, what, the reality of uh, human beings. So, at last, he realized himself and also he died. So in the story, so concept is nature teaches him how we have to behave in front of everybody in the society. This is the concept of Sparrow. Unit 5, The Man Eater of Malgudi by R.K. Narayan. His full name, Rasibram Krishna Swami Iyer, Narayana Swami. He was born in the year 1906 and died 2001. He is better, better known as R.K. Narayan. He is an Indian writer, novelist and especially he is known for his uh, South Indian fictional town name, Malgudi. Even this uh, story is in, on the title. He was a leading author of early Indian literature along with another two people, Mulkaraj Anand and Rajara. So this novel, it published in the year 1961, it based the concept of Basmasura. So it is a mythological story, if anybody touched the head of Basmasura, so they became as ash. And also uh, evil, Basmasura is a evil spirit and uh, his uh, destiny decides by himself itself. As it is, this novel, uh, the protagonist Nataraj who is a printing press owner, and uh, he decide and also in this novel characters they decide their own destiny by their devilish nature itself. This is the uh, common uh, themes and ethics he followed in this novel. Thank you.